folks. Morning. Rough day yesterday. Rough day. Um, pilot is missing. It's been gone since noon yesterday. Noon 30, something like that. Um, I'm bummed. Pretty sad. Um, and the worst part, I mean, I don't know. Worst part, what, I don't know. What are you going to call it? Worst part, I don't know. Um, it's like trying to like put the pieces together. Like why, why is he gone? Um, how is he gone? Well, he's gone because he like ran away. <laughs> Uh, went somewhere, I don't know. But, like, why? Like, I don't know. It's been a solid, like, week and a half, two weeks of good vibes. Like, he hasn't fucked anything up in here, so I haven't gotten mad. Um, he's been outside playing with Odin every day, Ben's dog. Um... Like, I don't know. I don't think it's any... Like, I don't know. And that's, like, the part that's... I don't know if it's, like, the worst part. I think it is, though. It's, like, not knowing why. Um, the follow-up to that would be, like, how? Like, because yesterday, him and Odin were playing. Ben and Odin were taken off to go out of town. Um, I literally seen Pilot, he was behind the van, maybe like 10, 12 feet, um, when they got in his truck and took off, and my window right here, I can see down the road of the campground, like, to the, to the actual, like, street road, um, I'd seen Ben drive out, he was going pretty slow. Um, pilot was not running after the truck like I would have seen it. I have clear view of everything. Um, and he, he's not one to chase vehicles either. Like, he's never, never done that. Not saying it couldn't happen, you know. Um, just not yesterday, but the day before, I helped Ben load up, um, we emptied out the fire pit and stuff like that, so the trash can was super heavy. So we loaded the trash can into the bed of his truck and, like, drove up the road, like, 200, 300 feet. Like, not even that much. Um, and I was in the back of it, and Pilot was like, oh, what's going on? Like, where are you going? You know, and was, like, curious and kind of, like, trotting along. But, um, like, that's the first time he's ever chased a vehicle, but I was in it. Like, he could see me type thing, you know? And he didn't... I was in the van... Uh, what was I doing? I had gotten some things from Lowe's, and I had to fix some stuff. So... It was warm. Um, there was a bag here, and I was sorting through the bag of stuff so that I could bring it out and fix the extension cord, blah, blah, blah. Um... So, like, I'm thinking in my head, like, did he not see me come in the van? And does he think that I was in the truck? And did he t chase the truck down the road? Um, I called Ben. He doesn't, he wasn't, like, looking out his mirror, you know, explicitly. But he doesn't, he, obviously, if he saw a pilot chasing the truck, like, he would have stopped. Um, yeah. Yeah. Then I'm wondering, like, he loves checking out the fields here. There's just rolling fields all around and farms, tons of farms. Um, there's cows everywhere. Not everywhere. Not directly next to us, but across the road there's cows. But I know he's seen them, so I'm like, did he get a wild hair up his ass and, like, want to go chase them? 
Like, yeah. And literally the worst part of it. He doesn't have his collar on. Uh, we were out at the store yesterday. And I did a ton of running around. Like, unfortunately, all the things I needed were not at one store. So it was one store after another store after another store. Go to the laundromat. Go to another store. Go back to the laundromat. Go to another store. Um, and while that was happening... He was, he was pretty tired because he had a long day slash night last night, well, no, Friday night, playing with Odin. So he was tuckered out. He was not a big deal. Um, but I was just taking a minute before I went into the next door and I was petting him. And uh, I was scratching his, he likes to get scratched under here. He like stretches his neck out and he's like, ooh, that feels good. Um... There's like these tag-along things. I call them tag-alongs. I, I don't know. Well, really, I call them pineapples. They look like pineapples. And they're sharp as fuck. They're these like little... They're these little... They look like pineapples. I'm going to end up getting one and we'll revisit that. Um, but there was one on his neck under his collar. So I took his collar off so I can get it. And he was like super like relieved... And so I just, I threw the collar back here. Um, I was like, oh, I'll put it back on after I get back from the, out of the store. And I got, I got the, I got the thing out and, oh, you know what? I have it. I actually picked a couple off of them. Let me get a good one. Well, I'll show you a good one, and I'll show you one all matted up with his fur because of how nasty they are. Focus. See how sharp those frickers are? And, like, when I go to get them out, this one's all loaded up with his fur. Like, yeah. Um... When you go to dig them out, like you gotta, you gotta hold it and then you like peel the fur away, like you're almost like peeling a banana, but it's his fur. Um, yeah, so one of these was in his neck. Took the collar off, didn't put it back on. Continued about the day of you know running around doing this, doing that, going here, going there. Um, and end up back at the campground. Obviously, and uh, Odin, Odin's out, Ben's out. Uh, he's kind of getting ready to head out of town. Um, and I just let him out. I didn't even think like that he doesn't have his collar on because bad on me. I should have put it back on immediately. But I mean, also he never, he's never like out of ear range, like his ear range like if I holler or whistle like he comes back he's pretty slow to come back he likes to take a sweet ass time be like well I'm not ready but anyways um yeah so it's it's kind of not like a major thought in my mind of like man like collar is always on him because he always runs off like he's literally never run off ever period ever um, yeah, I mean, shit, there's been a, there's been a time back in Alaska where he did not want to get in the van. He did not want to load up, like wouldn't do it. And I'm like, fine. And you could probably see it smoky as shit. This fan was like freaking out and essentially like shorting out yesterday and it was operating all crazy. So I had to take the fuses out so that I don't like destroy it. Um, so I don't have roof fans right now, so I have no venting. Um, oh, where was I going with all this? Oh, he did not want to load up, and I was like, dude, well, I'm like, I need to go to bed, I got work in the morning, like, well, come on, let's go. And wouldn't do it, wouldn't do it, wouldn't do it, 
And I'm not talking like just like was like sitting at the door. No, like he was like away from the van. I don't know if maybe he still had to go to the bathroom. Maybe he had the shits and he's like, no, dude, I can't go in there because like I got shit still. I don't know. There was no explanation. But anyways, like I'm like, all right, well, I'll set an alarm and like I'll check on you in like 40 minutes and see if you're ready to come back inside. And I did that. Like, I just went to bed. I'm like, dude, like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I need to go to bed. You won't come in the van. Like, that's that. Sat outside, was right next to the van when I opened the door. He was apparently ready to come in at that point. Uh, I mean, it was winter and it was cold, so, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but, like, and he was younger then, obviously. Duh, because in the past. Um, so he's, like, totally not one to just, like, gone, like, not coming back, good luck finding me, so I, I don't have, like, his collar on the forefront of my mind, like, not try. I'm not trying to validate what I did, just, like, more so explain, I guess. So, um, he's out there, no collar, um, I drove the main road that Ben would have driven out, didn't see nothing, I stopped a guy, because I saw him driving, um, I was like, hey, did you see a dog? Um, no, I told him where I'm staying if he does see a dog, because he lives on this road, um, I mean, I drove the road holler and whistling out the window type situation. I wasn't just, like, driving. Came back. Um, walked the camp property. It's pretty big. Um, I tried... There's snow on the ground still, so I tried following all the tracks I could. And essentially made sure that I was within, like, kind of shouting distance of maybe where that track would go. Um, pretty much, I dead-ended all the tracks, like, I, I followed all the ones on the skirts of the property. Nothing. Um, again, hollering his name, whistling, I had a toy with me squeaking it. Um, nothing. So, I, I don't know. I put him up on Facebook, on, like, the local pages here. Um, everybody loves him. That's kind of what I'm scared of, uh, is if somebody, because that, apparently that's a thing. Like, there's a stray dog here at the campground. Well, I don't, I don't know. Like, somebody just ended up dropping him off at the bottom of the campground road and, like, just dropped him off. And Ben recognized it and, like, fed him and gave him water and stuff. And he stuck around. He's kind of, kind of a doucher of a dog, but... <laughs> Um, one of the guys up the road on, on the, in the campground kind of takes, takes care of him, I guess. Um, so I guess that's like a thing is to just like drop dogs. He doesn't have his fucking collar on. He's a pretty dog. He, he's so, 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 so friendly that, I don't know. It can go one of two ways. People might be like, this is weird. Like, this is a good dog. Like, he's not, like, starving. He's not, you know, his, his nails are trim type thing. Like, he's not a mess. He's not matted out. Well, depending if he ran through those bushes with the things, it, it might he might look freaking a haggard mess. That might be a thing. Um, yeah. Uh, but anyways, like, he'll jump in anybody's car. So if he did go to the road, um, like, anybody that stopped and opened a door, he would have been in in two seconds. I can't, can't tell you how many times in freaking Alaska I'd be at a trailhead, like, putting my bike together, like, getting ready to, you know, put my shoes on to hike or run or whatever, and motherfucker would just jump in people's cars. Anything that's open, he just goes in. Like, Ben's Ben's camper... If the door's open, straight in. If his truck's open, straight in. Um, and that goes for anybody, not even just people he knows. Like, he'll jump in anybody's car. He could have met you three seconds ago. 
I'm in. You know, so like, if he was down the road, like he very well could have gotten picked up. And I mean, he's he is chipped. If somebody's gonna bring him to a vet to get scanned, I don't know. Um, yeah. Looks like he's up on the Facebook pages. Uh, um, it's gotten sh it's gotten shared a ton, uh, like spread out further and further. He's on like the local sale page. He's on the Kentucky Lost Dog page. I put him on like the marketplace thing, <laughs> not for sale, but like, hey, I lost my dog. <laughs> um, yeah, one lady reached out, which I'm like super grateful for. She's apparently only like a couple farms over from like me here at the campground, um, and said like she's uh, she's gonna keep a lookout, you know, and she'll drive around today to see if she sees anything, because uh, she's obviously familiar with the area. I'm not. I don't really know where this land connects type thing or whose door to knock on and because of I don't know where shit connects uh I'll give it a go we'll see um yeah bummer I'm bummed I was really hoping at some point last night I'd hear him like pawing at the door or something or I'd open the door because I kept waking up to check uh And he wasn't there. So, like, I'm, I'm really thinking he's got to be... Somebody had to pick him up. Like, that has to be the thing. Because it makes no sense that... But also, like, he doesn't need to do anything that makes sense. Like, <laughs> that's the other thing. Like, he totally could have just ran off into a field. And he might be back. He might have just spent the night out. Like, that's... I don't know. It's definitely not unheard of. I'm sure tons of dogs have done it. You know, and I'm sure I'm sure at that they've done like a week, you know, and just wandered back. I'm like, oh, I'm back. Just on their like, I don't know, midlife crisis or something, whatever. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't make sense, especially like I know he's hungry. I mean, he had food yesterday, but not as much as he usually does. And I know he's cold. It was like, I don't know, 16, 17 last night. He's from Alaska. He's got the fur for it. So I'm not like worried that he would have froze to death by any means. Like not even close. He's been in way worse. I've put him through a lot worse. <laughs> um, I don't know if I should laugh at that. Is like, is that cynical? Is that fucked up? I mean, no, because we were adventuring. Like he's living his best life. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, yeah, it just sucks not having answers, man. Like... I don't want to know that somebody else has him or is going to keep him or whatever, but like, I like kind of want to know, you know what I mean? Uh, cause I feel, I feel like a shit fucking dog parent, like way to go dickweed, like smart move, leaving his collar off, letting him just wander, like, <clears throat> but also, I mean, I don't know what's better, leave him on a 10 foot leash all day. Like, come on. Uh, I don't know. Co-pilot's gone missing. I guess I'm going to have to use my GPS now. Like, who the fuck am I going to adventure with? Damn it. Now I'm going to be back to talking to myself. Not even my dog. Ugh. Nah, he'll be back. I think that's it. Felt pretty good to just talk about it. <sighs> bummer, man. Fucking bummer. Mm. Well. Ooh. One of my many stories yesterday, Dollar Tree. Um, public service announcement here. Their magic erasers, $1, obviously, 
Um, they're actually superior to Mr. Clean Magic Races. If you're a Magic Race person, which you should be, they're great. Um, there's things like Crumble, especially if you need to scrub a tough spot, you know? Like, it, and it just disintegrates in your hand. You wear, you wear a whole finger, finger hole through the sponge as you're scrubbing, you know? Um, and they just, they fall apart. Maybe you have that issue, maybe you don't. Maybe I'm just a dirty slob and need to scrub that hard that I wear, you know, holes in my Magic Erases. But uh, the Dollar Race ones, superior. No holes. They do dwindle down and, you know, you got to throw it out and use a different one. But, like, for the price, you ain't fucking beating it. Not even close. Not even close. And I'm thinking I'm going to clean today because that's like a thing, you know, like whenever I cleaned, Pyle would like come back. Not that he was missing, but he'd come back from playing and be a fucking mess. So I'm thinking I'm going to clean today because he's going to come back and muck it all up. That's like the tactic. Clean it up. That way he can go come back and screw it all up. <laughs> all right, gang. Cheers. Thanks for listening to my story.